Hey y'all, it's your girl Joy and I'm back with another banger, baby. <laughs> anyway, I am getting out of here. Child, it is 4.19, you know that's early for me. You know what's terrible is that I feel weird without my mask on right now. I feel like, oh, I need to put my mask on. That's how I feel at this moment. But anyway, that's quite, quite, quite. How y'all doing? Y'all doing okay? I hope you're having a good day, good night, good lunch, good dinner, good breakfast, whatever it is for you, boo. So listen, listen, listen. This outfit is not exciting, but it was tie-dye day. I already wore my pink tie-dye skirt, so I had to come up with something else. Something I haven't worn in years in my closet. So, you know, I could be part of the team and not be the outcast, you know. So I said, you know, I'm going to just put some tie-dye on, too, to try to blend in with the rest of the people. That's how I do. So check it, check it. I'm going I'm to I'm keep this fast. I'm going to do this fast. You know what I'm saying, shorty? No, that shit ain't no cap. No, ooh, this bike broke. So, anyway, no cap. No cap, right? So, I got to tell you. I got to tell you something, right, right, right? So, let me show you the outfit. Let me show you. So, I just threw this little jean jacket on. And I have this long tie-dye skirt, which is like the pink one. Don't ask me where I got it from. I don't remember. I've had it for years, but I know I bought this purple one and the pink one. Hey! <laughs> oh, hey, you in my business? Don't do that. So, so I just do this one little t-shirt and it's a wrap skirt, so it wraps around. And my little jean jacket. I don't know where I got this from either. And I just put on a white white t-shirt come um, let me give it to you let me give it to you let me give it to you I'm crooked so it ain't good let me tell you hold on I'm back. So let me tell you, boy. So, ooh, I forgot my little cupcake over there. So doing the um, English Lee, she made cupcakes, Halloween cupcakes for everybody. Oh, that'd be a cute snack on the way home. But anyway, listen, 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 listen. Calm down, okay? So I went to the doctor today, so I only had a half a day today, and the kids were testing, so it wasn't too bad. I got a little bit of grading in, but it's like every five minutes, somebody was coming up to me. No, every two minutes. Yes. <laughs> it's like one of those things, but. Um, and they could finish their test tomorrow. So I went to the doctor, and the only reason I'm telling is because that's what I do. Because y'all in my business. Don't do that. Don't do that. Anyway, listen. So I went to the doctor. It was a three hour appointment. Not one, not two, but three. One, two, three. Y'all see my nails? I thank you. It's not focusing. But she really does a great job. So anyway. I got evaluated. It was an evaluation. Because y'all see how I be jumping around here and I be talking to my and I be doing this stuff. So I said, let me check this out. Maybe I got some issues up in here. Well, I know I got issues. Y'all know I got issues. I know I got issues, but it, it, it's just issues. So I had the evaluation and it was so funny, you know, because you could have adult onset ADHD or ADD or BDZ or XYZ. So I was like, let me find out. And it's not cheap, right? So I was like, let me find out because some things are hard for me to do. And it's just a little struggle for me and you because you got to deal with my craziness, right? But listen. So I did the evaluation. So when I got in there, right, you know, they asked some preliminary questions. And then he was like, well, and it was a test. You had to keep pressing the number. It was driving my brain crazy. He pressed the, the bar if you see and don't see an exit. It was too much. So my brain could barely keep up. And I was like, oh, my God, how much longer, mister? So, and then the next part of the test, 
he was like, you have to repeat these numbers back. And I was like, well, I could do one digit, you know. <laughs> So he said, it's going to start with two digit numbers and you know, we're going to go on for there and you have to recite the numbers back. So let's just say the number was six and two. He didn't get the numbers out yet. So he was like six and I was like six mm -hmm. <laughs> and he was two and I was saying the numbers along with him and he was like, he couldn't stop laughing. He was like, you have to wait until I finish all the numbers that I'm saying, then you can repeat them back. Don't try to say them with me. You say them after me. <laughs> and we must have laughed for a good five minutes. I mean, <laughs> it was so funny. He, and then it was something else and we were laughing. He was like, honestly, I don't need to evaluate you. I just need to give you a prescription. <laughs> He said, you like this all the time? I said, pretty much. He said, you just need a prescription. It was so funny. <laughs> but seriously, though, three hours and they do intense questions. I think it was like 500 questions and a different battery of tests and so on and so forth. And I say all of that to say is that, yes, I, I have my moments when I'm very hyper and when I'm talking a mile a minute and when I talk too much, because y'all know I always say that. <laughs> I always say that, but there are certain things that are much harder for me to do that would be easy for the average person. So like even all the way down to making an appointment or returning something to the store, those things for me, it's like climbing a huge mountain. It was, it's just something I just, I just can't do it. So I'm surprised I made the appointment to see to see the therapist for this evaluation but I think it was it's time because I've been dealing with this for well over a decade I'm like let me let me just see what a doctor says you know so I don't know what they're gonna say so I, I haven't been uh oh somebody's looking for me who is this so they, they're looking for me. I got to get up out of here. So listen, listen, listen. So I just wanted to say that <laughs> to say, you know, when things start to interrupt your livelihood, your life and being, um, I don't know, but I like who I am. I like my personality. I like, so I was telling someone else, they was like, but if your personality starts to change, I'm going to have to <laughs> interject here. <laughs> And the teacher that was next door to me, she knew, you know, how bad things would get from time to time. And she would help me. But she's no longer here. <laughs> so I was like, oh, my God, what are we going to do? You know, she would, like, remind me of things that are healthy. And I have another friend who's like that. Her name is Diane. And she would help me back in the day. She would help me all the time. She was like, Joy. You have this. So she would know my appointments. She would remind me of my appointments. And it's, and it's really something I've struggled with um, most of for well over one or two decades maybe. And that's how I know that's how Clinton got his ADHD. He probably got it from me. He jumped off of me. Jumped on him. So I went through it with, with Clinton. But for me, it's, it's well, I guess it's my actions, my behavior where it starts to interfere with just simple, doing simple things. So that's that. You know, and a lot of people have it. Some people have um, adult onset ADHD or ADD. They can't do certain things. Um, people may have their other strategies, coping strategies to deal with it. They may use other um, other methods to deal with those things. Maybe a change of diet, change of this, change of that, and that's all great. But you know, let's start with a diagnosis. That's step one. I know there was, y'all know that I be, go, I be going for it. Because you would think at my age, you know, the grandma age, that I would be slowing down. No, I'm speeding up. <laughs> I'm 
just speeding up. I had car rider duty the other day. I danced the whole time I was on car rider duty. Now who's doing that grandma age? Maybe your grandma's doing My grandma wasn't doing it. And I know the grandma down the street wasn't doing it. So the way I'm rolling, I don't know. I feel like an energizer bunny. And so I'm going to see what they say. And based on what they say is what I'm going to do and th th figure out what's going on. And then I could figure out how to proceed. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Hey, eh, 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 eh. I gotta get out of here before Bobby kills me, y'all. Before Bobby kills me. Okay.